Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at a tune which I call Contradiction Blues. Uh, Contradiction Blues is a relatively short blues piece and I got the name Contradiction Blues for the contradiction between the relatively mellow first part of the tune and the more punchy and bluesy sound in second part of the tune. Uh, it's, it's played on a guitar tuned in open D and it's a finger style piece. What I'll do is I'll play through the tune first and then afterwards I'll go through it slowly uh, if you want to have a go yourself. <laughs> Okay, we'll now have a more detailed walkthrough of this tune. Uh, the tab for this tune is available on the website in both text format and power tab format. And the link for that is available at the end of this video and in the YouTube description. Um, as I said, this tune is played in open D. And if you're watching your guitar open D, uh, there's a video available on the website showing you how to do that. Uh, it employs a Travis picking or alternate bass picking pattern throughout most of the song, and this is played on the thumb. And what this is is the bass notes are played uh, on you know regularly on every beat of the bar, alternating between strings. In this case, it'll either be alternating between strings six and four, <coughs> or strings five and four. Uh, the melody line will be played on the top three strings of the guitar here uh, and you can either play them using the index, middle, middle and ring fingers or just the index and middle fingers just depending on what you prefer to use although there is a section in the song where you will have to use all three fingers together. Okay, let's have a look at uh, each section of the song as we go through it. Okay, the first section of the song uh, is played over a D chord. Uh, it employs the alternate bass picking pattern on strings 6 and 4. And the melody line is played on strings 1 and 2. Uh, if, you, if you have a look at the tab, you'll find out the individual notes I'm playing. Um, but I'll just show you it played slowly just now. Okay, uh, the, the opening section is relatively straightforward um, and pretty standard for this style of, style of tune. Things get a bit trickier in the next part because uh, what we do is we now form an A chord by barring the whole of the 7th fret here. We then play a few notes on the 2nd and 3rd strings using the index and middle finger. Uh, after that we drop down um, to the G chord, which is the full bar over the 5th fret, um, for one beat before pulling that off and then playing the 4th fret on the 1st string like that. So I'll show you what we're doing here. section and um, we'll break this alternate bass picking pattern um, and we'll have a small walk into the, the next part which is a G7th chord. Um, now we'll walk into it by playing 
by using the ring finger we'll play the 4th fret of the 6th string um, and walk up to the 5th fret like so. Now you really have to use the ring finger to do this um, because you really need your uh, finger in that position to form the G7 chord in the next part and the G7 chord is formed with your ring finger on the 5th fret of the 6th string your pinky finger on the the fifth fret of the third string and your index finger on the third fret of the first string like so. And then when we'll have that G7 chord formed we'll hold that um, for this part and we'll just play some melody notes on the first and third strings like that. So we'll have the walk in to the G7 chord and then a little bit of melody. Okay, the next part um, we'll have a, a small ascending part and this is played on the second string and what, what we're playing is the first, second and third fret uh, in succession but when we play each note we're playing all three strings, all three of the, the highest strings on the guitar with the three fingers on the right hand and um, also on the first beat we'll play the, the open D on the sixth string uh, and what you get is this. After that, the, the bass picking, the alternate bass picking pattern resumes and we get a few melody notes um, on the third, second and open string of the uh, third, second and open fret of the first string like so. So when we put it together we'll get this. repeat the G seventh chord so we'll walk back into the G seventh chord just in the same way on the fourth to the fifth fret like so and then we'll repeat the ascending part again but instead of we now play a melody part but instead of playing uh, frets three two and open on the first string we'll play frets five four and open on that string and um, so what we would have is like so and that's that section for the next part um, we're about to form an A7th chord uh, again we're going to walk into this with a bass note in this case going to be the second fret on the fifth string to an open on the fifth string So, we then form the A7th chord with the middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string, the index finger on the 1st fret of the 3rd string, and the ring finger on the 2nd fret of the 1st string. Like so. Um, you really have to use these fingers uh, because you have to keep the pinky free uh, uh, for later on in this section. So again, we'll walk into the A7th chord and we'll play a few melody notes on it, um, just like in the other sections. Like that. Okay, so that's the A7th part. Now the final part of the tune is just a descending bass line. It's a turnaround, but it's just played as a descending bass line. And to play that, it's played on the, the bottom three strings and it's all played with the thumb. Uh, what we'll have is the fourth string open, the fifth string fret two, the fifth string open, the sixth string fret three, the fifth, uh, sorry, the sixth string fret three, the sixth string fret two but with a bend in it, then the sixth string open. Like that, and that sounds like this.
and that's it. That's the that's the whole tune. Uh, earlier on in the video when I played through, I just repeated the repeated the whole section. Um, and I mean, you can just play around with this tune and repeat it as many times you want, and put variations in uh, and change it. Uh, but the, the core, the core of it is a relatively small piece of music. Um, as I said, the tab uh, is available on the website in both text and power tab format, so you'll be able to get it there and be able to have a play around with it um, and just just play around with it. Alter things um, and and see how you see how you get on with it.